Hello, 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 and welcome back, my beautiful soul. So today we are talking all about starseed alignment to money and understanding that connection to money. Because so many times we feel like, you know, especially if you're deeper into this journey and maybe you've discovered that you're a healer to some extent and we kind of push ourselves away from money or even just the average human pushes themselves away from money because they're like, I can, I'm not worthy of money. I'm not deserving of money. Or it's like, I just have enough. So this episode today is all about the alignment to money as a star seed, bridging that connection, bringing the deeper understanding of why it's so important to have this relation and this foundation with money. And if you hear anything, <laughs> there are airplanes that fly over this beautiful space that I'm in right now. So before we do that, if you're new here, my name is Melissa and I am a beautiful galactic quantum channel and I really focus on helping starseeds ascend. I help, I, I really focus on helping females build deep, high level spiritual, meaningful businesses, as well as helping individuals elevate their wealth and money to a much higher capacity. Because when you understand the mission of a star seed and what we're here to do, money, we are contracted to have this big ass relationship with money so that we can actually create this new earth and help this earth ascend. And I feel like when we understand that on such deeper levels, and obviously money is here to support us and create experience for us and just like you know, whatever you want to experience with money, money is here for that, but there's the other layer to it. And that's what I really wanted to bring you today. So you can understand deeply that when you are a star seed, a light worker, earth angels, and you're not allowing yourself to have this powerful connection with money, you're holding yourself back from the contracts that you signed when you came into this earth. You signed a contract with money saying, hi, hey, money, you know what? We're going to build a new earth together. Okay. I'm going to heal my relationship with you. I'm going to call you one at a higher capacity. I'm going to allow my dreams and desires to really come to fruition. And we're going to do some amazing stuff with money. Maybe you're here to invest in beautiful, uh, massive shifting projects in the world. Maybe you're here to invest in, um, like new technology. Maybe you're here to literally donate to the most powerful divine organizations that feel so good and, and deeply grounded in the healing of earth, you know, healing our waters, healing our children, healing us, y'all, retreat centers, things of that sort. Like there is so much for us to do as star seeds. And I want you to start thinking, I know you're here because either you're like, I just found out I'm a star seed, um, or I know I am a star seed. So I want you to start thinking, okay, I'm a star seed. Even if you're new or you're old school star seed, like I am a star seed. What am I here to do with money? Like, and start journaling it out or start meditating on that question because money's going to come to you. Money's going to come to you and money's going to help you remember on a mind, body, and soul level that you're here to do so much more with money. So if I sat here and I said, <laughs> Money's like, do we have five hours for this? Because I am here to do a lot with money. So if I just tune in and I'm like, okay, divine money, what are the three things that I'm really, the highest contracts that I'm here for you to, to really create with? So the first contract is healing the money, literally healing the money of the world. So it's like, I am a high level money guide, a high level money mentor. I take beautiful females through the core of understanding money at such a high capacity so that they can build wealth. And to my gentlemen out there, not not disrupt, not disrespecting you at all. If you feel like, you know what, I need a money mentor, there is a money mentor for you out there. <laughs> I just want to say that right there. But when it comes to my first contract, it's healing the money of the world, helping people see a bigger, beautiful perspective around money, helping people experience more, helping people have more money, helping people understand that deep soul contract with money. That's number one. Number two is starting to really build out the world, the, the spiritual businesses of the world. So this is an interconnection with money. A lot of my beautiful clients that I work with, it's like, 
I can't get the clients that I desire. And a lot of that is I don't feel comfortable receiving the money. There's a mix of all the things, but that second contract is merging the spiritual business with the money contracts for my, my spiritual leaders to understand that when you are providing these beautiful services, you better be receiving that blessed money because when the money is in the hands and the hearts of so many people like us, we're going to change this world. This world's going to expand. It's going to grow. It's going to evolve. And we're going to do the most powerful, amazing thing so if we're not understanding that connection with money then we're going to push it away we're going to push away our clients we're going to push away our success and money's like no you're meant to be successful you reincarnated to be successful you reincarnated to build that spiritual business you reincarnated to do whatever you do in that spiritual business because it is your truth it is your soul truth these codes are so heavy they're heavy, y'all. I am so warm right now. <laughs> oh, drink some water. I'm going to take a moment to drink some water because they are getting fire. So today with me, my beautiful team, obviously, and I have uh, my beautiful Octarian family is here as well. Divine Money is here. Divine Mother Sophia is here too to, to really help you feel not only as I'm speaking to you, but feel it on the soul level. So you are being like literally opened up and expanded to feel this vibration of safety and surrounding yourself with money and loving on it. So my third contract, no, not four, my third contract is literally living a, a powerful life with money. And what this means is I am here to show people that it is safe to have more, that it's safe to do more, that it's safe to be more, that it's safe to receive. And for my beautiful queens and kings out there that like the luxury, there is nothing wrong with it. But a lot of us have these old templates that say, oh my God, being rich is bad. Having too much money is bad. Like I grew up with that. Rich people are bad. I literally grew up with that. So when I started manifesting in a higher capacity, I was like, maybe I want a luxurious life. You know, I had all this guilt and shame coming up because I didn't grow up with that. I didn't see my family having that. So who am I to actually have that and desire that? But that is me to the core. That is who I'm here to be, to show other people that they can have more and that it's safe to manifest these beautiful, massive expansions. So if you want to be bougie, be bougie. <laughs> Just a little side note in there. So, you know, throughout this, maybe as I was explaining the three major ways that I'm here to co-create with money, and there's so many more, <laughs> I want you to really, maybe you want to pause this and take out your journal. Maybe you just want to speak in that divine connection with divine money and just receive and start understanding it. And then when you understand that, it's starting to look at your life and how you're living this. Am I showing up to actually fulfill these contracts? Am I, do, I, do I feel like I can fulfill these contracts? Do I feel safe with money? Do I, do I have the, the grounding to understand money more? And if you do not, that's when you start seeking the guidance and the empowerment around money. So how I started seeking the guidance for me was <clears throat> I joined a, it was like a, a small money program to like, it was still spiritual, um, which I didn't really know. I was still getting into my spirituality at that time. So it was, it was still spiritual. So I, I really loved it because it was like opening my world in more than one way. Um, it was understanding the universal laws and things of that sort. So that helped me set, set the foundation for money. That really helped me set the foundation. And, and when I did that, I saw my money increase. And I want to tell you the reason why I was called to this money was when my spiritual gifts started coming online, I started making a, a lot more money than I had ever experienced in my life. And this fear came up. I was like, what do I do with this money? I have no idea what to do with it. So this program taught me these beautiful principles to actually guide me to understand like how I'm here to save money, invest money, spend money, pay myself, like all these things, which I was not taught growing up at all at all but I'm not mad at that because I'm here to learn it now so it taught me all this and it created this safety and understanding around money 
and I noticed that my, my money started to come in at a higher capacity after that. And then after that, it invited me to take a higher level money program. And it invited me to take a higher level money program and a higher level money program. And the reason I took, I took, five, I took five money programs. The reason I did this is because I'm here to teach it. During that process of taking all those money programs, I didn't know I was here to teach money until finally my spiritual team was like, you're here to teach money. And I was like, oh, this makes sense because I was called to this program. I was called to this program. I was called to this program. And it really helped me set the foundation of really understanding money from like, the they were pretty much all spiritual based programs with money. Let's be real. Um, <laughs> but I, I learned how to understand it in the logical and the spiritual manner in that space. Um, so that really helped me start setting the foundation to teach money in that space. A lot of you are not here to teach money. There are some of you that are maybe feeling like, I think I'm here to teach money in abundance. And if you are, if you're feeling that, follow that, because that's calling you to money expansion even more. And it, within my life, and I'm not saying this to anyone, but it's like within my life, a lot of my upbringing was struggling with money, was in fear of money, was overdrafts. Like that was the norm. It was like, oh, we have enough. Okay, perfect. Or it's like when we wanted something for Christmas, we were layawaying it like seven, eight months in advance to get it for Christmas. Like that was my life growing up back when there was layaway. I don't know if there's layaway. I'm 37 years old. Let's be real. Grew I was born in 85. Okay. Aging myself. It's all good. But coming back to this full fold was that you know, when I look back and I'm like, oh, damn, like, okay, I see all, all that, what I experienced with money and I bring it all back around. And now that I'm teaching it and guiding it through it, like my whole experience makes sense. I'm not saying that's you, but I'm saying there are a lot of money mentors that in their lifetime, they struggle a little bit harder with money because they're here to go through a higher level healing process with money to really bring it in. And coming back to understanding when you're building a business, a spiritual business, because some of you right now, your businesses are just businesses. You're, you don't even know that you have spiritual gifts yet. So you might just be in the space of like, I just want to build a business. Like for me, I just wanted to be a health coach. It wasn't spiritual at all. I built a health coach business and then that didn't work out. So I built, well, it, not that it didn't work out. I had clients, but it wasn't to the capacity that I desired. And and I felt called to do something else. And, and I want to open that conversation for you too, because right now you might, get, you might feel called to be doing something else. But when I felt called to do something else, I was like, can I switch my business on my platform? What are people going to think? Like I went through all of this, which is like, makes no sense because I'm just over here trying to help people and feeling like I'm better in this. So then I switched my business to, I was a business mentor, like teaching people how to build their businesses and create content and, and things of that sort, how to activate their voice. Like that's what I really specialize in. I really specialize in helping people activate their voice, but then there was still something missing. And, you know, I was still going through my journey, my healing journey, evolving and growing and doing all the things. And that's when my spiritual gifts came through. And when my spiritual gifts hit that business building, I was like, this is what I was missing. This is the energetics, the energetics of my business. I was literally missing. I am a healer. I am here to heal people through the process of building their business, building their wealth, building their money, activating their spiritual gifts. That's what I'm here to do. But like, I didn't know that until I knew that. But that when you open up the journey of starting to understand being a star seed or earth angel or light worker, you're going to start playing in all these different fields. And what you're waiting for is going to come to you, but you got to get curious, got to get curious in a safe way, get curious in a safe way, <laughs> get the books out there, watch the YouTubes. Um, what I want to say, if you feel like you're a channel, learn how to channel in a safe way, learn how to channel in the safe way. If you feel like you're a light language channel, seek guidance. That's what I will say. And not just because I'm a light language facilitator, but I don't even teach light language right now, unless you are like a literal one-to-one -one client that we teach you light language. 
But my experience with light language and learning it, it was it was wacky. It was really wacky. So when I go back to that, I'm like, no one should ever go through that. If you are a channel or you feel like you're a channel or you feel like it, find a mentor that you trust to teach you. Find a mentor that you trust to teach you. Um, find a mentor that you trust to teach you. That's what I'm going to say. Because sometimes when we get really curious, we can call an energy that is not too good, you know? Um, yeah, so we just want to be open and honest. And, and that's why it's like when I teach my light language, I was actually retrained by another female how to activate my channel and do light language. And ooh, once I learned that, it was such a blessing to me, like what I could connect to, how I could elevate the, the spiritual expansion and growth. So amazing. So, so stellar. So when we learn how to create this beautiful foundation of being a channel in light language, we can anchor into Oh, high level avenues. There's a lot of beautiful people that do light language that are hitting their capacity because they're not learning how to go beyond that. A lot of the people that I work with, some of them are completely new channels to light language and channeling. Some are like, I've been channeling light language for a while, but I just feel like I can't do anything. And I'm like, yeah, because you need that next layer, that next layer that I didn't know until I knew it. And that next layer literally walked, rocked, rocked, rocked my world. And what I can attune to today is in freaking sane. The divine beings that I channel is nuts, like literally. And it's like, get excited about that because it's such an exciting world to be in if you feel that you're a channel. But make sure, once again, that you find someone that you feel comfortable with and really is in their integrity to teach you how to channel and teach you how to speak light language. So that's it. I like to keep people safe in this magical spiritual world. Okay, but we're coming back to money, y'all. But I, I really felt like that was necessary to talk about because I know as a starseed, obviously you came onto this, this video because you're like, um, this video podcast, because you came onto the space of like, I want to learn more about this money connection, money alignment to money. Yes, but there's so much more. And that's why I'm really, you know, expanding, talking more about star seeds and really creating the space for all of you to understand in a higher capacity so that you can upgrade and, and bring some more light into your life and just free yourself into the purity of who you are into your sovereign truth. Like this life that I live is amazing. I love being who I am. Even and I will tell you, you know, something that's really big in this community is that we get so fearful of other people seeing our truth and who we are because it's something so different from what other people are doing. And you might even have people approach you saying, I don't believe in you. I don't, I don't trust this. This is unsafe. But I'm like, that's you because I have experienced it firsthand in many different ways, many different avenues, but through receiving, through activating my clients and my family and things of that sort, I'm seeing massive transformations for, with what I do. So it's powerful. So remember, come back to your power. You know your truth. You know your gifts. Come back to your power. I'm just going to tune into my team. Doing some, okay, so they wanna do some clearing today. We're gonna to do some chakra clearing. So we're gonna go through all of your chakras. Um, if you can, feel free to lay down. If not, you can still just hang out. Um, if you're watching this while driving, totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is just warm my hands up, get these frequencies going. I'm just gonna hold them out to you. So what this 
transmission did was it went through your chakras and it literally just beamed beautiful healing light energy from divine mother Sophia and some of the beautiful divine dragon tribe came through as well we're going to do a little bit more but we're going to do them in segments so we're going to talk a little bit more about money and then we're going to do another one um and we might do the last two back to back but it just depends we'll see we're going to feel into the energy of how you're going to receive it so when we go back to money and we, we really call it the energy of money to flow through me at the highest capacity right now so that you can feel the vibration of money and so that you can get used to feeling safe with money. When you look at your money story right now, what is it doing for you? That's the biggest question that's coming through is what is your money story doing for you right now? And your money story could be in many different ways. You could probably be a star seed that's just like loaded and has all the money and you're like, yes, my money is doing all the things. But if that's not where you are, what is your money story calling you to do? Is your money story calling you to heal? Is your money story calling you to literally move your vibration and work out more? Is your money story calling you to eat at a higher vibration? Is your money story calling you to connect to it more? Is your money story calling you to write a book? There's some of you out there that are here to write money books. Like, what is your money story calling to you? And ask yourself these questions because we are beautiful, divine, intuitive aware beings, multidimensional beings, galactic beings, angelic beings, all the things, we have this intuitive, these intuitive gifts and answers at the highest capacity. When you are a star seed, building that intuition up, it's like a muscle. You want to start working it. And you work it and build it up by asking yourself these questions. Who am I? What am I here to do? You, you can receive the answers. And if you're like, if you don't trust yourself, hey, soul, hey, higher self, what am I here to do? Literally, it was like, be a light language queen. I'm like, yes, that's what we're here to do. We are here to be a light language queen. Um, I was having a little chat with one of my beautiful souls the other day. And I was just experiencing what she was going through with all the light language activations that she's been doing. And it just blew my mind. Like, I was just like, it's so powerful to see her taking light language to such the core of her being. And it's like, my clients take light language, but she has taken light language on a whole other level. And it was just beautiful to see her do that. I was just like, damn girl, yes. Um, because when you really commit yourself to light language, you will have massive transformations. And that beautiful queen, what she has manifested by doing consistent light language, probably for the last maybe like four months has been insane, insane. So I was just like telling her, I was like, you know, this is my mission. My mission is really here to get light language out for people to understand that light language will change your life, will change your DNA, will change your cellular makeup. And like light language needs to be known like yoga and meditation and Reiki. And like, this is why I create this content so that you can come here and you experience light language and you can tell your friends, you can tell your family. And like, I ask you to also be that beautiful advocate for light language. If you're really loving it, like share these videos because that helps me in my beautiful divine mission. And that also helps other other people wake up y'all these videos are to wake you up and expand you and help you grow and set this powerful soul mission and and life on this earthly plane you know the, the power that these videos hold are literally like no other if i if i literally like literally like just downloaded every single divine being that's here with you right now we would be here for a minute and that's why what i told you my body is getting so hot i'm pulling in these freaking powerful codes that are insane they are expansive they are massive and a lot of these codes codes flow through divine mother sophia so if you 
are unfamiliar, if you're not familiar with Divine Mother Sophia, I recommend getting the Sophia Code. It's a book. I recommend getting it. Go to your store, figure it out. Y'all know how to get books. Get that beautiful book because it will help you. I'll also link it down below. Um, but with Divine Mother Sophia, that's the creator of all. So when you look at our earth, and what it is, who created that divine mother Sophia? I'm sitting here channeling the creator of this earth. That's pretty big. <laughs> and not only that, her whole dragon tribe, I have my other beautiful divine teams that I even channeled before her. So it's like this, this stadium of energy that is coming at you to help you transform. So it makes sense when you're like, Melissa, your video woke me up, or I feel so tired and exhausted after your video. Like what is happening? My body's tingling, all the things I have goosebumps because your soul, your soul is going through these activations and expansions as I'm sitting here talking to you. They are working on you. Literally, my codes are working on you. They are working on you. They are saying, hello, beautiful divine light being. I am here to greet you, love on you, expand you, honor you. It's time for you to wake up and do what you are contracted to do on this earth. We need you. We receive you. We are ready for you. And that's why I created this, this massive, beautiful expansion for you to sit with understanding what it's like to be a star seed on many multiple levels so that you can put it all together you know i mean a starseed series could go for a really long time but <laughs> we're doing it in five <laughs> um okay so we're going to come back to this beautiful activation and this is coming back to your chakra sending more light and now this light's radiating in your org field when your energy centers all of your chakras are at a higher capacity you naturally vibrate at a higher capacity. You naturally have a higher level of perspective, perception, whatever you want to call it. You observe things in a whole different consciousness. And that's your job to ascend. When you really work on your vibration and your energy, it allows you to ascend more. You might get these beautiful ascension symptoms, which maybe we'll talk about that as well. Yeah, maybe towards the end. Not today, but another video another podcast, another video. We'll talk about that. But your chakras are your, your life force energy flowing through you. And that life force energy is connected to divine mother earth and divine universe, God source of all there is, beautiful divine angels up there. They're like, angels are like, we're all around you. We're not just up there in the sky. We are all around you because they are. Seriously, they are. So knowing that it's coming back to taking care of your energy and this was not the topic today but when you understand money it's understanding the vibration of your body if your vibration of your body is not aligning and connecting to money because it's too dim and it's stagnant and it's, it's in fear, lack, scarcity, doubt, all the things. Your nervous system is just a crazy wreck. You're not able to beam this vibration up to receive and open up these contracts because every time we, we you know, it's like, maybe it's like, oh, I got a raise. <gasps> wow, that's awesome. I got a raise. You open that contract for the raise. The raise didn't just come to you. You open that contract for the race. That's what you did. So when we vibrate at these higher capacities, we open up these contracts. If you're in a career, you're opening up the contracts to get the salary you desire, the raise. If you're building a business, it's the clients in that sort. Maybe the clients, the opportunities, things of that sort. We open up these contracts. So if you're like, I'm building a spiritual business, but I have no clients. One, are you serving? Are you building the services? for your actual soulmate clients. We all have clients that are contracted to us. Sometimes we've literally, we created a foundation and it's like we have all these clients and all of a sudden it's like, it falls off. And it's like, yeah, because the universe is calling us to ascend because we have now have a higher level client to work with 
or we're, we, we help to, we help these clients ascend and they're like, what do we do? Where do we go? What do we do? Oh, well, if we ascend, we can bring you up with us and up and up and up. So it's knowing and understanding that as mentors, guides, leaders, the more that we ascend, the more we can bring our communities up to ascension. I am literally like, and this is the thing I was talking to one of my beautiful divine queens that I taught light language. I had her on a podcast and I was like, how do you feel like, uh, you know, like keeping up this lifestyle? And she's like, it's dedication. And I'm like, it is. I'm, I got to make sure my body is like, you know, running at a high vibration and eating well. And my, not even not running at a high vibration, but like running my energy's flowing well. You know, when your energy is flowing well and you're taking care of yourself, your vibration is naturally going to be high. We want to radiate at a high vibration. That's just who we are as souls and star seeds. Because the more we radiate a high vibration, the more light was, is within the world, the more the world ascends, the more Mother Earth heals. <clears throat> and my beautiful waters, your girl loves the beach. I was at the beach this morning and I did a meditation. I did not want to leave. I was like, I can stay here for hours. This is amazing. If you have, if you are a beach lover out there, drop in the comments what your favorite beach is and where it's at. Because I would love to know. I'm in California. I've traveled around the world. I've had some beautiful beaches that I've been to. One of my favorite beaches to go to is Shergao in the Philippines. It's like Surfer City. That is, oh my God, that island. Oh. The experience is literally undescribable. Also, if you want to experience that that um, island, I back in the day when I was vlogging, um, I do have one video up, and that was my experience in Shargao. I did do that. So if you do want to see that island and what the water looks like, and just experience some of the beautiful um, Filipino adventures out there. There it is. It's down there. <laughs> it's down in the videos. Um, okay, we have one more activation to do, but we want to bring it back in. Where we really want to bring you is understanding that your the core of your life is connected to money, meaning that when you start to heal your money story, your life naturally ascends. Okay, so if you feel like you're in a very stagnant space, start to ask: Is it do I need to heal my money story? Do I need to just pick up, pick up a money book? Do I mean a money mentor? Like start asking this um, because that's going to guide you. So like I said, I've had five money mentors. Um, I've read money books. I've done all the things because I knew that this was my path. Well, I didn't know at first, but then I knew it was my path. But follow your intuitive guidance and awareness. Scroll the books. And if you do feel called to like, I, you know what? I want to have a money mentor. Then I have, um, it's a beautiful container. It's a mixed container of, it's called Instant Money Recode. But the, the version we are in right now is Money Confidence, 100K Experience. That's the version we're in right now. It is an eight month container of literally transforming your business. And this container is for everyone. I will definitely say that even if you're in a career, it's for everyone. But what we really specialize in is beautiful angels, divine starseeds, galactic beings that have spiritual businesses. Really, 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 because a lot of what we do is we connect the money work to the spiritual business and understanding our world of ascension and grow. So if you're like, you know what, I'm in a career, I don't really know if that mingles with me, just feel into it because I do have some females that are in, um, a salary-based position and they they open up those contracts to receive the races because there are some star seeds that work in corporate. I know this, there literally are some star seeds that are here to rock the light in corporate. So if you feel like you're in corporate but you desire to heal your money story, or if you just feel like you're in the job world of like the nine to five of some sort, you want to heal your money story, feel into it intuitively. And if the program calls you, I'll drop all the links below. Um, and it's a powerful program, a very powerful program. I've been running this program for over a year and a half. I've had over beautiful, like 30 beautiful, 31, 31 beautiful females go through it over the last year and a half. And it has been phenomenal. So it makes me happy. 
That's if you want to heal your money story. Next step, we're going to do this last activation. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold that vibration. Perfect. My beautiful star seeds, galactic beings, light beings, earth angels, light workers, my beautiful queens and kings out there. We are done for this section of connecting and aligning to money. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat, the comments below. Because as I make these videos, I'll see these comments. And if there's something that you need a little bit more reference to, then I can definitely add that in another episode as well. Because even though there, there are certain uh, topics on each, on each like, you know, expansion of this, we still go through different things. As you can tell, we have kind of been all over the place. But with that said, I love you. You are amazing. Thank you for hanging out with me. And you will hear me. You will see me soon. If you're listening to this on podcast or video, all the things. I am so excited that I get to help you expand your beautiful soul mission and know that you are a blessing to this earth. And the more that you rise, you will see the world, the universe is going to open up because that's what happened to me, y'all. When I started this, this powerful transformation, my world opened up. Just a little bit about what that looked like for me. When I started my business, I always wanted to travel. Like that's literally why I started my business. I didn't want a boss anymore. I had some like wild bosses. I, I wanted to travel. I just wanted to be my own boss. Like that's it. That's why I started my business. I didn't know that it was going to expand to something as stellar as this, but I was like, I want to travel. So fast forward, I'm literally, I travel. I literally travel with my business. I can, the other day I was at a coffee shop and I looked at my backpack and I was like, that's my business. Like literally I didn't even go. And that's what as a lot of starseeds I know out there, your souls want to be everywhere. And if that's you, you are a kindred spirit to me because my soul loves freaking traveling. I have been all over the world. I have been to Korea, the Philippines, Japan, Mexico, Australia. Where else have I been? Hong Kong, Vietnam. I've been to Spain, France, Italy. I've been around America. I haven't been to Canada yet, <laughs> but I, I still have a lot of traveling to do. My next destination, well, I'm going back to Spain for one of my besties, her, her beautiful wedding this year. Um, but this literally this year, I spent a whole month in Europe just traveling around. And when we connect that bond with money, it opens up our world, y'all, like crazy. Um, bought my dream car, was able to relocate cities multiple times. <laughs> That's another story. But I will tell you, if you have a dream, and if your dream is similar to mine, even if it's not similar to mine, maybe you are like, I want to open a healing center somewhere. Oh sit so deep in that dream and start healing your money story, start doing the work, start understanding your soul connection, who you are and do it. Literally, I want to say fucking do it because you got to do it because you will reap the benefits every single day that you wake up and the people that you shift and transform the experiences that you can create, no matter, maybe you're just a beautiful soul that loves to offer retreats. So also, I will do a shameless plug. I am hosting a retreat in Costa Rica, October 8th through the 15th, y'all. I will put that, I'll drop that below too. But the that retreat is called Awaken Your Higher Self. It is a seven-day powerful, massive retreat where we disconnect from the world and hang out in a rainforest. The rainforest meets the beach, like my vibe all day long. I have a beautiful co-facilitator. Her name is Ella. She specializes in light language as well, embodiment. She is a Kundalini queen. So the transformation that you will have during that retreat is going to be insane. And what I like to say is like, I know a lot of retreats are like, we have this activity, this, 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 this. No, you're actually coming here to take it in, process it, 
explore Costa Rica. We're going to do some beautiful group excursions. We are. And then we're going to do some more. And we're going to layer it in the way that you can actually receive it and integrate it. And then you get to come back home as a whole other divine being. Because trust me, sitting in my energy and sitting in Ella's energy for seven whole days in Costa Rica, in that beautiful energy right there, your world is going to shift like crazy. So if you are interested or if you have been being called to like really seek spiritual expansion or growth in a retreat setting or Costa Rica has been calling you, uh, I'm going to leave that beautiful link down below as well. See, I, and this is it, y'all. When I opened up to money, I said, I always want to hold retreats. So also note that if you are a king here, I'm sorry, but this, this retreat is uh, for females only, but in the future, I will definitely have like um, a co-ed retreat for sure. So stick with me, you know, stick with me y'all. But it's just, I know my contracts, so I want to honor this and saying it too. My contracts, like 90, 98% of my contracts are here to help females grow. That's what it is. And like the 2% is like, okay, I can activate this smell, activate this smell. I have activated some males. Um, I have activated one channel and I've had multiple soul blueprint sessions with um, other males as well, just like helping them understand who they are. Um, but my work is, it's very dedicated. It's very feminine based. And I acknowledge that. So that's why a lot of the programs that I create are very female driven. There's nothing wrong with that. But I will tell you, my beautiful males, if you are searching for guides and mentors and retreats and experiences, like literally ask the universe, universe, put me in front of the mentor that I need to see, put me in front of the retreat or the experience that I need to have or even hold because there are some powerful ass kings out there that are ready to hold down this masculine vibration and the feminine vibration same as females we hold that masculine vibration and the feminine vibration but a lot of us as females are really here to heal that wounded masculine as well but i will tell you it is so powerful to see a male in his fucking truth i'm like damn Damn. it is beautiful to see a male in his soul mission because for me i see more females in it but that's why if you are a king here i call you to rise as well i call you to rise i call you to find those those beautiful mentors and guides and facilitators that are here to expand you into your wildest incarnation and this is what I, I call for all of you, my kings and queens. Even if you found me here and you're like, oh my God, you've woken me, but I don't feel like you're my mentor. I want you to seek out that guide, that mentor, those resources to help you, guide you, expand you. Do not give up on yourself. Even if you feel like you are so disconnected from everyone else, do not give up on yourself. Okay? I love you. Mwah. You will hear me and see me again. And also, once again, you will hear me and see me again. <laughs>